spent the weekend watching beer and watching or drinking beer and watching football. No. As, I mean, as that, as, give me the give me the fried. Weekend, you don't want to know. So, but all of you awake at this goblin camp, and you know that you have before you ready to set out into the dungeon. If you guys want to do anything with the goblin camp, you can. But if you want to just get back into the dungeon, we can do that. So that's that's where we rejoin our heroes. Okay, so rest it up. I mean, it's the next so morning. just for a little bit of context, you guys had first night arson. Yeah, so Friday night arson. You guys have a bunch of people in the in the city council chambers. Mm-hmm. Shit's crazy. Saturday, you guys go to the citadel. You explore a little bit, make it out in the courtyard pretty fast, fight the draconic alligator. Oh, fuck. Climb up, see that something's going down the battlements, climb up in the battlements, save the goblins, arrest, actually arrest and not kill the mm-hmm. halfling, mm-hmm. bring him back to justice in town Saturday. Saturday night, you rest, you go back. Sunday, you clear out most of the citadel, meet Staggerim, have a rough encounter with his trap, some dire bats, spiders, rats, bugbear, you know, a little bit of everything. And then you guys are like, fuck, we're winded. We've got a little bit left to go. But we, yeah, but you guys don't want to go all the way back to town. So it's Sunday night, you go and rest with the goblins. It's Monday morning. You've got a little bit left of the Citadel to explore. All right. All right. I think I so would probably... So on the north... Go ahead. I was going to say, on the north side of the Citadel, is that a collapsed wall? Yes, it is. Okay. On the far so north. do we want to go in from? Yeah. Yeah, I never know. I, I'd never noticed that, Tim. That was a good call. I think yeah, we should try to enter there. Whoa! Okay. Oh, why am I spinning? Why is Karen? Was Felix dancing? invited to this? Just, just, so just now, checking like we're. Was he invited? Yes. Did anyone? Did anyone remember to tell him? Who? Alex? I mean, I'm assuming it's a good storytelling point. In the morning, when we're getting ready to leave, he's <laughs> like, "Hey, why yeah, don't we check out I... the?" Yeah. Did anyone uh, think to yeah. tell Felix? Yes. Then who would have okay. done that? Tam. <laughs> okay. Tam okay. definitely would. Felix's only that. friend. Got it. Karen would not have thought so to look... do that. Hello. Let's talk a little bit about exploration modes. Oh, Karen definitely has uh, the shield up defensive. Looking for trouble. That's Scouting, a essentially. Pretty... Scouting defensively. What would, what would you say is the most laissez-faire exploration mode? So the rules aren't out for it yet, but I know that there are going to be some rules that will allow you to start combat with a bluff check or nice. a deception check. <laughs> that I will do that in every single combat when that's in. You know you're shit at deception, right? I'm specking it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least when you Actually, level up. Yeah, be, you can get good quick. Honest, no, no, to be honest, I'll keep myself shit at it, but always do it anyway. <laughs> Um, uh, laissez-faire, yeah, I'd say that, or, um, I also accept, like, sort of an investigation for just sort of checking out, sort of gathering information. Just keeping an eye open. Okay. I mean, you're looking for shiny stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, we got Felix investigating, and, Karen, what'd you say you were doing? Uh, defensive scouting. With shield Okay. Uh, Tam and Charlie, what are you two up to? Um... Uh, I'm probably scouting as well. Okay. <clears throat> then Tam would probably be somewhere in the back. Uh, was it there's investigation, which looks... What's the Inve- one that's investigation looking is for, like, like um, Like, right. I'm gonna, I would be looking for, like, you know... Perceiving. Yes. Or searching. Yes. That'd be traps and shit like yes, that. Cool. I'll be doing that. So this is difficult terrain you guys are getting into. So, Karen, you're kind of walking up first, and you see this. Okay. You can guys see where there's some water that's been pooled, and okay. Uh, do I see a door or anything, or is it just kind of open? You said it was a collapsed wall, right? Yeah, th- the wall has collapsed here and just created difficult terrain. Okay, it's just difficult. I don't need to like climb, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, so you kind of step. Into this area. Yeah, step into here. 
If I give me one second, I just need to check something real quick. Okay, so Karen, as, as you're kind of walking up, getting a little closer, Tam, you see a little closer. So Karen, before you make it into that room, oh. Tam, you see what looks like a body in the, the water. Oh. Okay. And it just uh, looks... Was that modified at all by the roll of 612? <laughs> it was. That's actually what let him see this. Okay. <laughs> What was the DC? Was it 600? It was 611. So, yeah, it, it looks like it, it. It looks like you can't tell. It looks a little bit like, like an old kind of rotted body. There appears to be some sort of mound, like maybe a backpack or some sort of pack on its back in the water. Uh, 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 Karen, do you think you could oh, oh. fish that out? Yeah, yeah. Just hang on. <clears throat> she puts away her sword and pulls out her harpoon and. Uh, can she reach it by just poking it, like to pull it in, or do I? Am I gonna have to? I mean, like it's it's sort of shallowish water. It, it is far enough away that, like, yeah, you'll have to kind of like interact with it. Uh, Felix, you got the really long spear, right? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a it, six it, foot. No, shot. Actually, I think it has like a backpack or something on him. I got it, and Karen will just jump in the water oh. and just go out and get it. I don't. I'm trying to avoid. Well, no, man. Did... No. Let it Never happen. Mind. Just let it happen. So, so, <laughs> so what's up? Karen just wades in because she's, you know, dealt with fish and whale guts and all that. So this b- dead body in the wa- this bloated body in the water is probably not going to bother her very much. I suddenly realized. Uh, so yeah, she's going to wade in and just go kind of drag it back to the side of the water. Okay. So as as you wade in there. You kind of get closer, mm. and I'm going to need you to, because you get really closer, can you can you give me a perception check? And actually, everyone else, go ahead and just roll me a perception check for no reason at all. perception like a secret check? Not when it's initiative. <laughs> well, all right. Natural one, y'all, plus seven. <laughs> Wait, is, it a, is this an initiative? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Because that'll I, update I went the for, tracker. I went for initiative just because it was there. Oh, wait. Right, yeah. the tracker. Uh, I always forget about that. I cannot change it. I can, if you tell me. Okay, it was eight for Karen. Give me one second. I need to actually... Okay. Man, my computer's being laggy AF. I said tonight on me, I'm gonna be just a touch scatterbrained. It happens. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, that's actually accurate. Okay. All right, Karen, you had an eight. Yes. And then we'll just work our way down. Charlie, what are you rocking? Oh, I put mine in. Okay, Felix, is that accurate for you? Yep. Cam, accurate for you? Okay, so Karen, as you begin to step into the water, what's your perception, DC? Uh, oh, my, my my modifier? Yeah. Plus seven. Okay, so you don't see it. So it'll 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 you'll get it'll get a flat footed strike on you as you get close. Okay. Oh, this God. creature in the water, it's shit, and you realize that the thing in the water is on this creature's back. Ah. Oh damn! It's an angler fish, but it has humans. Oh yep, 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 yep. So it's going to attack you. Let me first give you flat-footed. Mm-hmm. I just have that on a quick go now. Here you go, Excellent. flat-footed. 
Check it and see. As it's, as it's giant jaws just snap out at you. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that's a miss. All right. So it's it's going to follow up really quickly and try to claw at you. This is embarrassing, guys. <laughs> oh. Natural fucking one. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> And then after doing that, you, as it kind of moves, you start to get a better look at it, and you realize that what's happened to it is that it's, it's kind of like, it's this giant turtle essentially. And the last thing it does is it kind of goes back into its shell. Hmm. Huh. All right. As Dave Charlie's, oh, Charlie's turn. Charlie's gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, uh, and. Uh, create a frost vial Ooh. and we're gonna throw it at this bitch. Don't freeze oh, the damn. water with us oh, in it, damn. Don't. Good roll. Oh, good roll. Um, so first of all, hey, real quick, guys. Ta-da. Yeah, um, one second. Yeah. What is, what is everyone's perception DC? Seventeen, I guess. Is that just the number that's under uh, ten initiative? plus uh, yeah. ten? ten plus your modifier? Okay. Seventeen. Then mine's comparing. sixteen. And you're and Felix, yours is higher against traps, right? Or in your see, so let's see, Felix. Two higher, I your, think. Your DC is what? Sixteen. Sixteen, and I think it's two higher against traps. Because I realize when I'm doing stealth, it's going to be a lot better if I just can look all this up in a note that I have saved here. So Felix is 16. Mm-hmm. Charlie, what do you have? Wait, where is this? Uh, just It's your perception bonus plus 10. That's your perception DC. Oh. Uh, uh, 13. Okay. So you got a plus 3 on perception? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tam, what do you have? 18. Nice. And Karen? 17. 17? Yeah, is the DC for my uh, perception. Cool. I'm going to just typing these out and putting your bonuses in so I can quickly, because I have them on my DM sheet for my physical games, but mm-hmm. I, don't, I realize I didn't have that done here, and I should have. And what does Staggerm have? Staggered? Who? Oh, Alec. St- Alec. Oh, oh. oh uh, I got it. One second. Uh, plus 17, also. Okay. Because he's with you guys, so he needs this right now. Okay, thanks guys for bearing with me. I know that took a hot second, so I appreciate it. All right, Karen's going to walk flat-footed. He takes a five-foot uh, penalty to his speed. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Nice. But uh, that is attack and damage, and uh, that's dropping pretty much my turn. I love that I was able to zone out on damage, and Wait. it's all in there for me. Was your entire... Is that all three of your actions? Move, Let's crowd, yeah. move attack. create, oh, move, crowd, throw. throw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good. All right, so that makes it Felix's turn. Well, it looks like that thing is... In spearing range, but not in flanking to spear range. It will be if you move there and let me move on my turn. You're right. So you haven't acted yet, have you? I have not. If you go south one square, I can. I'm, no. Or even no, no. southeast. No, I'm going to defer. <clears throat> can you defer movement? Or full actions? Yeah, I should. I. Can't I defer and just keep my turn until uh, he takes his? Like, wouldn't that so, yeah, be I, I think we looked this up. Did we look this? Did we look this up last weekend, Eli? You can, in fact, delay. Oh, that's right. You can. That's right. So yeah. you can delay to after my turn. Exactly. It like, completely like, rings hurt your. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure yeah. how we would so do that. So if I delay tracker. till after his turn, then he can get on the side of it, yeah. and then on my turn, I can move and get. Yeah, yeah. Double sneak attacks. But that, doesn't that reinsert you in the initiative order then? It yes, like it will. It, 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 it will move Steven down really, initiative like order. I'm acting, I'm still acting where uh, I am. Right. 
It's not like that's going to change where I act in regards to the monster at all. Okay, so let me know when you want to come back in. I'll move you down. So I will I will go immediately after you. After Karen? Yeah. Okay, so that will put you at a... Like a seven you know, I don't actually... I don't actually know whose real name is associated with which character. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, Karen. There you go. Perfect. So yeah, after Karen. <clears throat> okay. Makes it Tam, I think. Yep. Tam's turn. I guess I could have right. um, Tam flank it, but that sounds I, like a that, bad that's, idea. <laughs> that, that's, don't know. <laughs> that's a that really is a bad idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tam is remember, take, the, just, remember all this rubble is difficult terrain, so leaving a square with rubble in it is double your movement. Right. Uh, we're gonna end up there. No, 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 not there, not there, not right, there. Fine. That's the one square I need. <laughs> um, and I would like to make. Hmm. Is he gonna do it? I want. I would like to see it. if what type of creature this is. Yeah. So that you can know by I'm mousing figure... over it. No, no, no. Like identify it. Oh yeah, but in terms of like what kind of check you need to make, that is information you can like you can know what kind of creature, what what category of creature it is by mousing yeah. over oh, it. Right. So it's just, okay, so it would be a large beast. All right. Uh, and, basically, and I'm and trying to figure out that. is it is it undead? Ah, large beast. There you go. Okay. So it is a beast. If you want to make yeah. a recall knowledge check, you can to try to gain more information about what that means. But that's what I wanted to do. Cool. I just forgot what it was called. Yep. So that is an action now. Uh, but yeah. you know, it's a large beast, so I can tell you. God, I gotta double check this. We haven't done a ton. I, I want to say large beast is probably nature is gonna be my gut. Yes, I go for but it. Let me see. Uh, they've got a whole section on this, and I just don't use it a ton. So, wait, what is he doing? Recalling knowledge? So, yeah. We should. Like, I'm, pretty, I'm all, pretty sure it is. We should all figure out how to do that because all of us have lore skills that we've yeah. been using a lot. Well, it takes an action. Yeah, well, my lore is like lore cooking, which I don't think is. <laughs> I have lore dragon. You make a burrito in combat. Actually, what, what lores do I have? I have lores brewing, cooking, and engineering. Uh, James, it's on page 238 to 239. That's recall knowledge, but I can't remember what kind of creatures are listed or what. They have a fucking table somewhere. Oh. So, if we ever fight living hops or a machine, I can deal with that. <laughs> okay, you say that, but like constructs are a fucking thing. It's true. Let's see... Well, an engineered construct rather than a magical yeah, than a construct. Magical construct For, oh, here we go. Uh, beast is identifiable through either arcana or nature. Uh. Arcana? Okay. Yeah, because some because <laughs> like, so like animals are animals. Beasts have some level of like weird magic or craziness ah, to them. Like okay, this is nice. a. I mean, think about it. This is a turtle the size of a draft horse. <laughs> <laughs> a normal animal. What it? What, what do yeah. you mean? But this is Jack a secret Hannah check. Would so, what would you like this. to make it with, Tam? Uh, nature. Okay. And I already forgot to check what the DC is because I just closed the book. But, um, God damn it. Oh, I think I actually hit that page bookmark, so that worked out well for me. Recalling knowledge through nature. I'm a little rattled tonight, <laughs> so I'm less good at running my game. Now I'm vamping for time by singing horribly. Oh, I'll run Alec tonight, Hang by on. the way. Unless right. somebody actively wants it. Okay, recall knowledge. What is the DC? Oh, that's right. There actually is a system for this that's pretty simple. So just, yeah, nothing comes to mind for you. Okay. You're like, you just, you have not, you either have not seen or totally blanked on what this thing is. Fair enough. Strat. And, oh, my last action, I will throw a dagger at it. Yeah. So it's an action to draw a dagger. Ah. 
But you can draw a dagger so that next I time... I will draw a dagger. <laughs> Excellent. Action one, walk. All right, what does Alec want to do? What I, have, I have access to a lot of his abilities. What's Alec going to do? He's going to move to here. Okay. And then take a hit at it with his sword, which is where? Why do I not have it? I, ha- I have it as a DM. You don't have it. Oh, So I'll okay. go ahead and do it. Yeah, he wants to hit the turtle. Man, critical miss. I am <laughs> rolling horribly tonight, guys. So this is this is your night. Yeah. So you gonna swing twice? Yeah, swing twice. Okay. Natural one to a natural two. Excellent. <laughs> two critical misses. All right. And of course it's on our guy. Yeah, you know. All right, that's his turn. Oh, sorry, it's my turn. Uh, so Karen no. is going. No, to... it's not. Oh, it isn't. No, it's not. Oh shit! It is an un... It is something that is not on the initiative tracker. Oh shit! However, it becomes visible because its sneak was so bad that all of you oh, see God. it. <laughs> Even Charlie. Even Charlie. As... I know. But right? Charlie's blind. The boss of blind. As this creature oh, steps fuck. here. A second one tries to sneak, as you can see why it probably had trouble sneaking, (laughs) into this room (laughs) and is going to attack. And actually, it it is flanking Alec due to the rules of flanking, because from one corner of its square to another corner of the other square, it can be drawn through two separate sides. Yeah, you're right. So, Alec, you're flat footed. It's Jaws going to reach out. Kill Alec. Kill him. (laughs) It's not me. Ooh, that's a hit. Ouch. Finally. Something. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Charlie hit. Yeah, that's true. Charlie hit. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, Alec is wounded now. And. Dying. Unconscious? And dying. No. You shouldn't be unconscious. <laughs> uh, I, I forgot to heal his hit points up. Oh. Um, <laughs> so he needs Jesus. to be. Jesus, that should not have killed a champion. <laughs> or a fighter, I mean. Oh, no, no. He has a fuck ton of hit points. Yeah. He was fine regardless. Yeah. Yeah. I, that I made sure everyone was healed back up to full. Yeah, you had time to do that. Oh, so I now, can scroll on Alex's gonna... character sheet. I can use his stuff. Yeah, for now, though, I got this. I see this guy slashes back out at right. Alec. Oh, that's a fucking critical. Uh, oh. Well, that could have been worse damage. Yeah. Yeah. That slashes into worse. Alec. That's this whole creature's turn. It does not withdraw into its shell like its comrade did. Now it's Karen's turn. Okay. Okay, precisely how does flanking work again exactly? You have to be able to draw a line from either a corner of your space or the center of your space to the center or corner of your uh, of an ally space through two opposite sides. So actually, I'm not sure that I would have been flanking Alec now that I look at it. But they still rolled like those two fucking rocks finally. Anyway. So. Yeah, those two would have hit anyway. Yeah, and uh, it still would have been a crit. It was a natural 20. Okay. So let me still take flat footed off of Alec then. All right. That complicates things a little bit, but not too greatly. Um, what is... How do I ping? Can I ping? No, we found a way to ball. do this. Ike found a way to do it. No, you can draw. Um, uh, right click oh, yeah, and then drawing. go to the upper left pointers or the bottom oh, uh, middle oh. drawing. Both of those. Yeah, it's a draw like arrow. This one. Uh, oh, oh, whoops. I don't want it like that. Shit. Uh, how do I delete it? <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, that's right where. Click, this. I got it. There we go. So I want. If I were here, would this be flanking? With Alec? Yes. Yes? But not with... No, uh, no, sorry. It has to be two opposite sides. Okay. All right. No, that would not be flanking. It has to be two opposite sides. All right. And how much of this... I'm sorry for all the questions. How much of this is difficult terrain? Uh, Everything that has gravel or water illustration in that square counts as difficult terrain. Okay. So everything south of the Giant Beast 1 is fine? Uh, once you're fully south of, yes, but okay. not in the not in the south part of its two spaces. Okay, sorry for all the questions. I'm ready to do my stuff. So, moving to how much is this? That's ten, fifteen. So it'd be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, 
25, 30. It'd be 30, 30 feet to get there. 30? Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's as far as I can go then, so unfortunately I cannot flank. But uh, Karen will take a, a lunge attack at the giant... Well, how, how did you move through the enemy space? From here? Oh, did you try to... Were you stepping, oh, so that's even more. Let's see, that's 5, 10, 15, 20... 25. 25, 30. That's 35 to get there. Oh, this... Just the second diagonal. Oh, I see. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20... Uh, I guess there... Oh, that's about as far as I can go then. Um, so I can't really... Now you are flanking with Alec. Okay. Uh, so sure, I'll stay there, and then I'll attack this beast one with my, uh, sword. That should also okay. be flanking with Felix, right? Should be. Yes, right. because of Felix... Yes, because you yeah. can draw from the corner right of the outside. On the diagonal. Actually, is yeah. there any... Could I go to this square instead? Five, ten. Now you would not be flanking with Felix. I'm not, but... Uh, yeah, you gotta be, be up in there. But I have lunge. I have that kind of range. Yes, but... but, but, but yeah, you, you have the range, but it's about drawing a line from the center of Felix's to the center of yours, and you moving far away changes that line. Oh, okay. Then I guess I'll just stay here. Alright, final decision. I'll stay here and then attack with my sword. Okay. <clears throat> oh, shit, that was the damage. I'm sorry. Ignore that. I mean, you said you, you did eight there, so let me just minus that. Anyway. Yeah, but I hit. It hit so, anyway, okay. So just right, so cool, so we'll leave that damage. Attack. Leave the damage? All right, I won't leave yeah. all the damage then. Uh, and then... La uh, <laughs> Felix, are you... If you move on your next turn, we'll be able to flank it. Uh, so I'm No, gonna take, I can flank it from here. Can you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. No, you you will have to take one step over. You'll need to attack from oh, the right yeah, of no, Alec. Have to, yeah. But you have I reach, have so yeah. yeah. Okay. So and so I'm uh, just a dumb ass, assuming usual. Felix goes one square to the right of Alec, if I go one square to my left, will we be flanking? Yes. Felix and I. Okay. So with my last action, I take a five foot step backwards. A careful step. Okay. Very careful. It step. is now Felix. Do I oh, um, do I open any more of that fog of war? Sorry. Uh, I'll let you reveal it. Like, I gotta, of, yeah, like it's, cool. it's it's so benign, banal. You are fine to go ahead. No, I'm just gonna let you do it because I'm I'm a cool dude. No, I'm hoping that there's nothing there. <laughs> I just would like to verify that there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Most excellent. All right, Felix is going to do precisely as anticipated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me throw now, flat footed on this fucker now. He yes. is completely flanking it and Yep. Where is my where did I put the Oh cool. When conditions are on oh. it, I can mouse over a part of the icon and see what conditions are on people. There we go. I nice. That's good. Oh yeah, I see it. So Art now, flat footed, cool. The spear is out. Here we go. It's large beast one is our boy, right? Yes. Yeah. He's flat footed, I noticed. Oh, good, yes. Nice. Oh, that fuck. was excellent. And then that's this long spear damage. Yes. Oh, that bitch did. And that didn't include the sneak attack damage. You don't need no, it. He's dead. <laughs> I still want to know it's the damage. Attack bonus. So, roll it anyway. Uh, I, I still want to know. I want to know how badly it's he kills it. You've got sneak attack 1d6. God! Okay, so you, you messed him up. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that thing... There, I've, I've made him 25 wounds. He's at minus 5. Excellent. Okay, so that's no thing, longer a real state. That thing's fucking dead, and Felix can attack again. <laughs> yes. So, there is the second one to his south. Correct. And the... And, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna say, because of... That wall, he'll have a like a skeech of cover, but not much. I, I went ahead and added that. So, question: mm -hmm. If he has a skeech of cover, is it like a skeech of cover that I could, for instance, circumvent by using a ranged weapon? No, he'll have that, especially from ranged. Okay, then I'm um, just going to draw it first. 
Wait, actually, hang on. Let me look at my numbers. Uh, I think Felix took Quick Draw. Oh, okay. <laughs> because Felix he's been switching weapons so much. Sword. That's fair. Felix is going to okay. drop his spear and pull out his sword because it's got a one better uh, second attack multiplier. <laughs> the That's fucking gaming quick blade. draw rogue fighter. So yeah. are you are you are you one handing the spear in your offhand and going one hand in the sword? Because you don't have to, you don't have to drop the spear. You just have to drop a hand from the spear. Yeah, you're right. So Felix is now right handing the spear. He's a lefty, by the way. So, okay. Yeah. How unfortunate for you, I am not left-handed. Well, or whatever the, right. whatever the Prince's okay, Bride quote he is. is actually, maybe he's actually right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I right, feel like Mark that's something we need to leave Charlie, up to the dice. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, I just want to check real quick. Oh, sure. Did Eleven actually miss because I accidentally rolled it against Alec? Uh, Eleven definitely missed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just want to make sure. All right, Charlie. Uh, he's not in water, correct? Correct. I'm four of fire attack. Yeah. Burn. Oh. Bitch. Burn. Burn. Excellent. Burn. Eat my fire. Oh, uh, no, there's persistent fire damage on it, right? Correct, and it is now two fire damage per yes. turn. Yes. Go, go, alchemist. What? What was that? A feat? Well, yeah, it's it was a first level, and then I think. It, Goes up with oh probably with like your, check it, your bonus or something. Yeah. Nice one, Charlie. You make that from the fat we we skied, got off of that lizard. Um, I think it's a turtle. <laughs> Charlie makes these bombs like, from I, the, I the waste sure. of the food I cook. So that's a. Uh, it's um. Let's see. Craft throw, uh, and I believe I have a hand crossbow in my other hand. What the so hell? Is it burning damage too? The fire damage? Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting a note on here, mm, and gotcha. we determine that happens at the end of your turn, right? That way you have chances to remove it earlier. It's, I think it's the beginning of your turn. Yes. We'll so look like it up, way. but it won't matter. It doesn't have a way to put it out easily. Like, I'll look it up while you guys do your turn. thing. Okay. Oh, it'll be under persistent it damage, Eli. Persistent right. damage? So, Charlie, are taking that cr hand crossbow? Uh, yeah, okay. what the hell? Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, but hey, it was worth it. Now it is Sir Tam. Probably Mr. Tam. Hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20. Aha! And I am going to do a medicine check on Alec. Hey, mid combat can, bandage. Nice. I can do that now. Nice. <laughs> okay, here it is. Right. Instead of taking persistent damage immediately, you take it at the end of each of your turns as long as you have the condition. Yeah. Rolling any damage uh, dice remaining each sense, time. Actually. Huh? Yeah, so it takes it at the sense, end of each of your turns. So after you take persistent damage, roll a DC 15 flat check to see if you recover from the persistent damage. If you succeed, the condition ends. All right, track goes off. Roll me that 2d8 for Alec, and I'll subtract that from his damage. Nice. Not bad. That was like a whole one of those You attacks. slap a bandage around him, he looks at you. Ah, thanks, my northern friend. Uh, thanks, I got my you. hometown I got friend. Do you have an action left, or did you need an action to get out your healer's kit? Uh, probably needed an action to get out the healer's kit. Okay. Alec is going to take that momentum, though. Leave me room to move, though. I must slay this beast. Uh, like, Felix right, nudges him gently with his right shoulder, like, hey, bro, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm rolling. That's a hit. Oof. Okay, I'm going to believe that Felix's nudge gave him the drive he needed to hurt the monster. <laughs> like, maybe he was just about to mess, then you nudge him and it recorrects the sword angle. <laughs> <laughs> Like the yeah, opposite of what Gimli did to like, the, the Aaron Douglas with his bow. <laughs> Oof. Ouch. It's like, it would be easier to stitch this closed if he didn't move so much. I'm trying, and as a matter of fact, as you're working on his next two attacks, miss, though. <laughs> Critically miss, in fact. <laughs> yeah. And now it is this large beast just starts turn. hitting the wall with the sword. And because it has reach, you know, it's it's going to throw a shot at, uh, at Tam. What? Oh, I didn't even do anything. Oh. Yeah, you came up and you're kind of working and it just sees you come up and it's like, ah, new threat. This is why I stand this far back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I can hit it with the bombs from here. <laughs> yeah. Don't you have far lobber? Yeah. Excellent. Was that your it's gonna follow up with the claw. So it's it's gonna throw a claw at Alec. Mm. Miss, and then it's gonna kind of withdraw into its shell. Okay. Coward. Okay. Wait, it takes its fire damage, or it makes it has oh. to make a check. Yeah. It, no, takes, it takes the damage, damage then, then the it check. makes the check. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. God damn it. It dies. Yeah. <laughs> it burns to death. Yes. Good job, Charlie. You get. You're really getting uh, better making those bombs. Prep, mummy's oh, prayer. Charlie goes over it. Oh, on a little. <laughs> um, he like, with his offhand pokes his spear into the shell just to make sure. I want to see if I know anything <clears throat> about these. Sixteen nature. Recall knowledge. Ah, uh, so one. That's a secret check. Oh shit. Well. I have, a okay. plus, I have a plus five to nature, so whatever. So these are what are called grave shells. Mm. Hey, guys. Whoa. Hey, guys. I poked its head and it didn't resist. I think it's I dead. think that's a good thing. These here are grave shells. I've heard of these before. I uh, heard tales from sailors who would uh, come from port and they, you know, they trade stories for, for cooked meals. Uh, but I've definitely heard of these. What do I know about them? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of these. Uh, what the fuck do I know about these assholes? Definitely heard Karen of these. knows all about these things. I have. Hard. I Eli have no idea. What these well, no. Are. I, I'll say that with that success, you've heard of them. Mm -hmm. It's not like you are all the fuck about them. Mm. Um. No, nope. Karen has. I've heard. Yeah. So, like I said, I've heard whispers. I've heard whispers from Silas about these things. What are they called again? Grave. What? Grave shells. Grave shells. Grave shells. Grave shells they called. Turtles the biggest horses. Well, while he's gone, I gotta piss. Plus the big fat turtle. Ugh. Sorry, one second. I'm trying to find. I have the book for this adventure somewhere. It has a little more mm. info on them, but I. One second. Keep the shit simple for now. You don't know much, too much about them, but mm -hmm. they're uh, they're bestial turtle fuckers with big, heavy shells. Okay. You do know that they often uh, will sort of find ways to attach sort of decoys to the top of their mossy shells mm. that look enough like grass or mud to attempt to attract prey. I am gonna look through the backpack of the dead body that was on the first uh, ghost shell. Oh, oh. You, you thought it was a, a backpack? There was nothing there. Oh. It was all just a decoy. Wow. <laughs> Twas a lure. Then I'm going to gut one of these things and get some meat. Save it for later. Oh, I'm going to carve is, off some pieces from the one Charlie cooked to death. It is disgusting, but oh, yes. I'm disgusting. All right. Moving on then, yeah? So, as you guys... I imagine you guys can kind of start heading down a little bit more. It's a mm -hmm. big shell. It might yeah. make for a good shield. That's not a bad idea, Tim. Maybe on the way back, we'll... Uh, well, look at that. Carve that off. Tan it real nice. Yeah. How did something that big get through that small of a door? <laughs> huh. Um. Ooh, so, let me say that I can now give you guys a little bit of info. You know, as you kind of walk in, you're starting to see a judge's bench and witness stand, counselor's tables. However, those are really the only remaining indication of this room's previous use as a formal courtroom. What stood as benches have long been smashed to fragments and strewn about the gallery, covering the floor of this room in debris, though there are several empty doorways to the north, which you can all see. A large, ragged opening in the citadel's wall is visible, along with what appears to be a corpse wearing silvery armor lying on a muddy lump in the center of a pool. That was what you saw earlier. Hmm. Nice. I do. I go and inspect the armor. Oh, it. it, it was oh, the oh, never mind. I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought there was another corpse. Oh no. Okay. So there is something still there. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and check that in. So I did that wrong. There was so much in this room. I, I didn't prep it enough. Cause I wasn't sure where you guys were going. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can throw this in your treasure inventory for you guys. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Yep. It had. Unidentified yeah, item. I mean, oh shit. Okay, how, do, how do you open that again? Uh, it's it is I. the very, very top right button. It's an I with right. a little group of people, meeples next to it. Ah, gotcha. A chain shirt. So oh. you guys may have noticed that there's a few new things. There was a chain shirt on it, and you may notice in the coins, uh, it had six, uh, six gold and wow. nine silver. I, uh, Looks like a dead oh. bandit of some kind. Oh. Huh. I'm going to take the gold. So what's everyone doing? So, so Karen, you're doing this. Yeah. Everyone else talking about um, your exploration modes. Yeah, no, I'm going to say something unrelated to my exploration modes. I realized I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> okay. Like, this was already known, but I just realized it. Okay. Um, I've been using Gen BTS as my portrait because, like, haha, I, I, I just, I guess that's the portrait I decided to use for no reason. My wife's a great artist. I can just ask her for a portrait. There you go. <laughs> and she could produce it in, like, a half hour. Nice. Yeah, do it. Yeah, you could pay it. Yeah, you could pay it. Yeah, you could. Man, don't talk back to me. Bam. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Oh, I, I, I find the chain shirt and I say, hey, look, this body's got some nice armor. Actually, it's got some decent armor on it. Any of y'all want these? I, I don't particularly want it. I've got, I'm a little bit big for it. Um, but then I pick up the coins and I, I start counting them and I give each of you one gold and I keep the rest. Close. Okay, field roll perception to see if he's about the same shape as the guy. Give or take, you are. All right, how good is the armor compared to <clears throat> scale mail? Uh, should be in the information on the chain shirt. It's a plus two to AC. What's scale mail? I have uh -huh. a script. I have no idea. Open your character sheet. It should plus be three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's crap. <laughs> to it, oh, but it has a lower dex modifier. Lower dex penalty, you mean? Mm. Yeah, Get, our uh, dex mod cap is two. Armor yeah, so, so, so the chain shirt allows two. for more. But remember, he's a strength rogue. Yeah. Right. Man, man, you know, fun fact, my strength and dex are equivalent. Oh, okay. Well. Huh. Um, the chain shirt does have a trait called flexible, though. Uh, it doesn't apply its armor check penalty to any acrobatics or athletics. Oh, wow. It is noisy, though. So that's the chain shirt's for just a lot more... Yeah, but... Like, yeah, there's only minus one. Like, from a role-playing perspective, Felix does not respect it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Charlie, Tim, uh, any, either you want this? I, I usually do better without armor. Oh, uh, yeah. I brought that one on. All right, all right. Uh, how heavy is it? Like one bulk or something? Yeah, that's yeah. What, Oh, but it's worth five gold? Uh, well, either way, I'm giving each of you one. So what Karen's doing is, what's everyone else getting up to? You guys can you guys can allocate the gold out of there. The gold is in the party okay. sheet. Do you, you guys see that? Six gold, 29 silver? I see it, yeah. yeah. I gave each of them one, and I'm keeping three and then 29 silver. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm going to say Felix is checking out down here. Okay. What's so everyone else doing? Like doing a kind of poking his head around the door. I'm going to do like that kind investigate. Of strike, check your corner. Thing in here. Okay. And uh, Tam, what's Tam doing? Um, probably snooping up around the... Uh, looking around up over here. Okay, so a couple things going to happen. Charlie, you can really put together what this room used to be. You can see how this used to be a courtroom. And you you do get some insight, Charlie, looking through here that this is – there's like there's some trails going through here that this was racked really long ago. And – but this this you know, this is this is – was probably in – you can kind of get a look and you see the, kind of the doors off to the west. You guess those are probably an overflow room for the folks who would come here to watch the trials, the Hell Knight trials, which were quite 
intense as, you, as I'm sure you can imagine. But it's sort of open to let people to pass and look through it. You're, you kind of get a feel that what's up north where you guys came through were probably offices. And then kind of what Tam is searching were probably offices. And you, you do get the idea that this area was ransacked a really long time ago. Um, so, Tam, you're looking through there, and you actually you do find yourself a little bit of stuff. Um, looking through, like, these areas were so heavily hit that it looks like people kind of shrugged off looking through them in too much, in too much depth. But, Tam, you find a couple of rolled up Ooh. pieces of scroll parchment. And finally, about how long do you spend looking through here, Felix? I mean, just whenever things are quiet, he's looking. So, 15, 20 minutes while other people are doing other things. Okay, so you find. Let me put that on. Oh. So, Felix, you actually you find a number of looks like once again it's crazy how visually ransacked this place is because it looks like you find some coins on the floor also um karen did you take those coins out of the party sheet because they're still on there for me i wasn't able to take them out um i was able to add them to mine um yeah i can't remove them Okay, there's got to be a way to move that so that it, it can auto count. Did the the other of you three each add one gold to your inventory? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I did not because Felix is looking through the doors. Well, he he he. he Karen went out of her way to hand it to you. Mm-hmm. It's Karen, dog. <clears throat> we all we all been doing up, huh? Feel, you been? Now I feel really bad for not sending you the other gold that I got. And then, oh shit, uh, Felix, oh, wow. you find five silver and forty copper. <laughs> Did you mean to put scale mail in here? No, that was me. Oh, I was like, holy shit, what's that doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just carrying it for no reason. <laughs> oh, I accidentally doubled the. But yeah, so there's forty copper. Do you want? Do you do you take all of it? Do you share it with the group, Felix? It's Felix holds it up to the group just as a joke because it's such it's jump change. We found some plumbers. Hey, check it out, guys! I picked up a fucking quarter. Hey, uh, great! You Tam, do you want to look into identifying those? Um, it's probably not something I would do right now. Unless it's, well, it's, it's something it's, that would take, it would go quick. Uh, I think it's it's ten fifteen minutes. Um, if we're gonna be here for a little while, then yeah, I'd flip it. I'd, I'd try Felix to is it taking take is looking around. You you found yours pretty quickly. Felix, it's like yeah. he keeps looking around. Oh, quarter, oh, quarter, candy, yeah. quarter. Yeah, piece of candy. All right, yeah, I'll try to identify those. Uh, so let me let me look up identify real quick. Yeah, it looks like these kind of identifying stuff takes give or take about ten minutes. All right. So if it's if it's a good check, I'm gonna say that we can roll it over pretty easily. Yeah, ten minutes. So this is a secret check. Okay. You can use. I'm guessing you want to use religion. Uh, yes. Because that's kind of your shit. Is a bit. All right. Ah, uh, so you get both of them. Okay. And let me go ahead. They're in your inventory. I'll just go ahead and reveal those for you. So you find a scroll of alarm and a scroll of fear. Oh, yeah. So I'll be honest. One of you might want to look this up. Okay. I have no fucking clue how scrolls work in second edition. If you have to have it on your I'm on it. spell list or what the fucking deal is. To Thank the you, library. Eli. Yeah, I'm on it. I will also say that throughout this to, time... If I remember correctly, you have to be of a level that can actually cast the spell. It's like one of the requirements. Uh, or if not, it's a check. That's how it was in first edition, but I don't fucking know. 
Casting a spell from a scroll requires the scroll in one hand and activating it with a cast a spell activity using the normal number of actions for that spell. To cast a spell from a scroll, the spell must appear on your spell list. Oh. Uh, because okay. you're the one casting the spell, use your yeah, spell okay. attack roll and spell DC. The spell also gains the appropriate trait for your tradition, arcane, divine, occult, or primal. Any physical, material components and costs are provided when a scroll is created, so you don't need to provide them when casting a spell from a scroll. You must replace any required material component for that spell with a somatic component. If the spell requires a focus, you must have that focus to cast a spell from a scroll. That's it. Alright, cool. So it has to be a spell you'd normally be able to cast. That's weird. Or that you could have had the ability to learn to cast. Right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same in uh, first edition. I guess yep. makes sense. Well, in first edition, you can you can attempt to cast stuff off it with a use magic device check. Back. It's just harder. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's how it works. You Great. need to have it in your hand. Yeah. So you can hold it one hand. Anyway, so you guys find those. Uh, I will say, Felix, as you're searching around, your perception isn't great, but you you swear you hear something coming in from the room to the west. That's left. Yeah, that's sort of like there's open a, area. There, hey guys, there's there's noise here. Okay. Oh god! Karen that's immediately there. picks up that's her shield. Up, up here. <laughs> Karen pops her shield up and uh, kind of slowly makes. Stagger grabs his sword and uh, walk over to here. Because sorry, yourself. Hiding behind. Talk to me real quick. So I hear sh Karen, you got your shield up. Mm -hmm. So Stagram is going to sort up, just perceiving. Uh, what are you doing, Felix, Tam, and Charlie? Perceiving? Felix is just looking. Charlie has her uh, uh, hand crossbow aimed at the the open area and her have something if need be. So as you kind of get closer, you have to bring a little light with you because this is one of the few areas that doesn't have windows because it's sort of a central room. But as you get closer, you, you can see there's an open area. So matter of fact, Charlie, you're the farthest back, but it's, it's Felix kind of peeks his head around. There's there's an open area with a clear view of the courtroom from in which you stand. But this, this room that you're looking into is there's piles of filthy blankets and half-gnawed bones and all, all sorts of signs that there's some other kinds of of some kind of creature here. Oh God. Uh, Karen will slowly. I see, uh, oh, and shit. I'm gonna I just see Barnes and shit in there. I'm gonna walk in and see if there's anything in there. And Karen will walk in here, <clears throat> poke the pile of bones there with her spear, see if anything happens. Give me one second. And the shield is still raised. If you're raising the shield, all you can do is raise the shield and just like very passively look at shit. Hmm. Okay. Well, then it is not raised, and I'm poking with a spear. Let's see. Oh, geez. So, sorry. I was just saying. So, as you get closer, you get a little closer to one of the piles, and it starts to move. And I, I give a, a glance Hello, over to Fe I give a glance to Felix and I, I nod towards the pile. And then I will move to here. Or here, I guess. And we'll say it is the one sort of to the south. The pile there to the south. Mm -hmm. Karen kind of gestures at you. You know if, if you Karen do? gestures Felix is behind. It's goes okay and you start to hear almost like a <sighs> coming from the, the pile okay so i will uh again I'm, i've got my uh spear i guess i said uh so i'm kind of rooting around mm -hmm. in there to see if anything runs out <clears throat> Okay, so you'll have to you have to kind of you have to kind of drop your shield to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. It's not raised. And as, as you sort of move this, there's, there's sort of a blanket over an overturned desk. And does anyone else move up to get a better look? Alec kind of steps into the back of the room. I'll step up to here. Felix like 
tiptoes over Karen. Do me a favor and pick a square, Nate. I'm picking this one up against the wall. Okay, let's so put like, you in the wall square like there, that. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. Charlie gets farther back. So as as the blanket <laughs> comes off, Karen, you see a couple of what look like maybe I want to say they, they look a little physically like puppies, but they're, they're they're the size of like large domesticated house cats. Triples. Uh, nature to see if I know what they are. Uh, sure, I'll uh, roll that for you because that's I have a, a secret check. I'm going to pull it up real quick, like. So you look and you're, you're not recognizing them right away. Hmm. You, you don't know what they are. Burn up. These are the dimmest things. But they, 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 they bear their teeth just a little. Charlie burn it. But, but but they don't make any move towards you. They're kind of looking at you, <sighs> growling a little. I put the uh, the blanket back over them, and <sighs> does that quiet them down a little? So I show a little bit of growling, and you can kind of see one of them, like kind of looking around the edge of the blanket at you a little. And you see the other one kind of almost bop it, like in a very almost human gesture, sort of bop it. <sighs> Hmm. It's a little quieter. How? I'm going to uh, kind of nod my head and gesture towards the south door and try to quietly open it. Okay, you do. I don't and super want to kill puppies. <laughs> you see, the room that you. This is the room that you were. This is the room that you were into uh, back uh -huh. when um, <clears throat> someone heard something where the dire bat was. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, Felix heard something. It was probably these things. All Felix yep. has done is follow Karen very <laughs> closely and do nothing. Charlie, come like down here. Sure. You can see how that all connects now. Do I perceive anything in here? No, it is. It's very. You see the doorway into where Felix yeah. and Karen is. So uh, Alec and Tam, you'd see this, that like as they kind of went through the door, these sort of smaller pups of some kind, like one of their heads kind of sticks out after Karen and Felix and looks at them and then kind of like retreats back under the blanket. I go back up north and say, it's just more the same in that room. There, uh, there's probably a mother somewhere around here. If there's pups, she'll probably be right pissed if she sees us. We should probably move on. Uh, yeah. Tam, what, what are you doing as all this is happening? I'm just watching. <laughs> Getting ready to uh, hide. <laughs> should something happen. <laughs> it, it should be assumed, if I okay. forget to move him, that Felix is always three feet behind character. So, I'm going to attempt, is this door locked or anything? This west door? Uh, as you get closer to it, um, I'm going to listen before and I. And Charlie, you, you've kind of stayed away from this whole room, right? Oh yeah. So, but but Felix, you kind of walk back past him and you take a second look at him. You you, you feel like you might recognize what they are. What? They're they're warg puppies. No. Oh. Is that good or bad? They're war puppies. Oh, hang on. Oh. Yo, can Felix roll something to lock the dogs? What are wolves? To like approach them. Yeah, you, you can you can do it'll be a secret check, but it'd be some sort of a diplomacy check. Talk to me about how you might approach them. And hit it. Hand, no weapons out. Hands open, palms up, okay. fingers down. Sure. And Kind of rhythmically clicking the tongue. Okay. Just... Does everyone hear that barking that mm -hmm. Sirenscape is totally hooking me up with? Yep. <laughs> There's absolutely no, absolutely no threat. Just moving slowly. So you're, and your hands are just completely open. Yeah. No. So as you get closer, they sort of. 
yeah. the palms towards their noses. Okay, so at this point, you you do remember something. You do know that the wargs are the subject of many grim fairy tales and campfire stories. There's all sorts of accounts of them taking children oh, whole. Yeah, dang one well, of the things that you. Baby. Well, one of the things you you do know about wargs is that while they they do hunt in packs and surround their play of common wolves, but <laughs> they have a they have a a penchant for cunning and taunting that distinguishes them from their less intelligent cousins. That they they have an intelligence of that of a, close to that of humans themselves. What the fuck? You do know that because of that, that they, they do have simple desires, but they're often they're often used to they're often sort of recruited as allies by orcs and hobgoblins. Oh, would I know that as an orc? No, you you kind of didn't recognize them. You okay. you might kind of remember this that often they're the you may have heard of that, but you're not like an orc orc. That's true. Wait, are we talking beach. like riding them? What? Hold on. Are we talking like riding them? Like orcs would ride them? Uh not normally. They so keep in mind so as for context, they 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 have like an eight or a nine intelligence. So like just below humans, but sentient intelligence. Interesting. As a matter of fact, there are there are even tales that of, of wargs speaking. Oh. And none of you rolled really high enough to know much more about it if those are true or false. Mm. But while you're so doing you can even all just... this with the pup, Karen's gonna be pressing her ear against that western door. <laughs> can I <laughs> can I come up to like here and say something in null to them? <laughs> Karen, you, you don't hear anything through that, that okay. door. Um so yeah, you, you can try. Suppose, uh, h- hello. And they, they kind of look at you, and, and and they're just actually about to nip at Felix's <laughs> hand. Like Felix, they just start getting ready to nip at you. Nipping is cool. Just leave the hands out. Um, and they sort of stuff, and they look over at you a little bit. And they sort of like they wind back in something that sounds a little almost like goblin, but like a baby speaking. <laughs> like not real words. So taking a hot take, Felix squats with the hands. Okay. Out. All right. So just offering them, offering to say, I'm nose like, and throat and whatever. <laughs> All right. And as Felix is doing that, Tams is like, "Ooh, I got an idea!" And he runs back to the turtles mm-hmm. and like tries to cut, uses dagger to cut some of it, the turtle off. Oh, I actually have some in my bag. You can have. Like, all yeah, right. but that's his, this is Tam's plan. Okay, so Tam runs and back, starts carving a little bit of the grave shell off. And then runs back and just kind of like hands tosses it, to Felix. It, it. Either hands it to Felix or just like tosses it on the floor in front of him. And okay, then so, backs so off. Felix, as you approach with meat, I'll say your, your check was just shy, but it specifically says that if you approach the food, it gives you a plus two, huh. which is exactly what you right. need to hit the DC. Oh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> Well done, Tam. So you, 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 you start getting a little... And they sort of get a little quieter and come up, and they they take it, like, rip it out of your hands and start tearing it apart. Oh, I like them now. They look, they look like you and you eat, Charlie. So, that's nice. So a, a couple things also start coming back to you. I'm not sure if this is something you would have heard or, or read a little bit, Felix. But one of the things you do know is that wargs are naturally evil. And that, like, Left to their own devices, these puppies Felix. will grow up into evil, sentient monsters. Felix. So. Yeah. But anyway, there's these kind of that? two puppies just there. Yeah, only Felix knows this. Hmm. Oh, two little devilish monsters. I kind of like them. They are quite big. I bet they get a lot bigger. What do you think we should do with these things? I. They're my friends. I mean, I'm assuming they have a mom. That's what I was thinking. That's why I'm listening uh, over here. See if I can hear anything. We got to throw model. Got to throw the model. Well, I mean, unless they have thumbs, I don't think they can open the doors, which means they probably came in. Came and went through the hole in the wall. 
Oh yeah, you're probably right. He might be out in the, the woods looking for food. But Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Um if these like should we be bringing these things back to the goblins? Maybe we should and see what uh, the Bremble Breaches have to say about it. But uh let's scare around a little more and see if uh if mum's about it. No. Well, so I, I'd like I'd like everyone now to roll perception initiative. Okay. <laughs> no, I can do that. That's Is there a way to things. where do I roll that to make me make it update the tracker just from the initiative on my on your page? on the main? Okay. Yep. I, initiative on the main page. Got it. How the fuck do you guys have plus eight? I'm an expert in percep in perception. Yeah, he, like he's got his eyes. He specked into eyes. Oh, nice. Yeah, as a fighter, yeah, I started at level one with as expert in perception. Yeah, trained in perception, and then a plus four wisdom modifier. <laughs> so as as all of you are talking about this. When Karen, specifically when you say there's got to be a mom somewhere, mm -hmm. you hear in common from behind you, Bore only her ilk. And this fucking war comes oh. out of the darkness. Oh, from the north fuck. Of oh, fuck. Yep. You realize that it opened the this, door. It would have opened the door silently with none of you noticing. Wow. Oh god, they can open doors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I run into the kitchen and hide in one of the cabinets using so yeah, the so reflection on the around. other cabinet. My that advantage. bitch bore only her own ilk and no true male heir to me. It just fucking comes at you. Jesus. Uh, okay. Ooh. Why do I All have right, a minus two right. defense effect? You're flat-footed. It's oh, because not it surprised up on you successfully. Me. Because it surprised me. Got it. Okay. So boom, damage, and mm -hmm. then it gets a free grab attack. Oh shit! Oh my! Against my what? Wait, even in a surprise round? It's if it hits successfully, a successful hit allows Damn. it to grab. Uh, the white-haired yeah. witch archetype from one e allows that. So I believe it. Okay, uh, so what does I do? I roll it's a pretty common rule thing, or is it against a DC? Nope, of I get to roll on that. I'm, I'm actually searching right now. Yeah, I think it's against like my athletics DC. Let's see, because that would make sense. Oh, so it automatically grabs. Period. Oh shit! There's no way. So out of you that. are now flat-footed. I mean, you you can attempt to it's standard as if grappled. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so let me actually go ahead and throw that shit on you, because you got grabbed. You're no longer flat-footed, but you are grabbed, which includes flat-footed, just yep. FYI. All right. Let me go ahead and check what that is in a little <clears throat> list of conditions. Um... Um, See, so give you flat-footed and immobilized. If you attempt to manipulate action, you must succeed a DC five flat check. Roll okay. the check after spending the action, but before they're applied. So it does that. So you're flat-footed. It's action. Okay. It's going to follow up and just attack you again. It's got you in its jaws, and then it comes through its jaws. It just says, "Perhaps you will give me something that she. Perhaps you will be able to give me something even when she failed." Oh, natural twenty. Uh. Oh, oh my! Fuck, this is gonna hurt. Oh, all right. I know what I'm doing on my turn. <laughs> Wait, did he just say I'm gonna fuck you? Is that what I understood? Yeah, <laughs> Ow! All right, it is I mean, Tam's turn. Shit! And you see both of the puppies. Two things you guys notice happen: the puppies at first perk up when they see something happening, and then when they see that it's this warg, they cower beneath the blanket and desk. Hmm. Karen doesn't notice all that. All right. <laughs> I'm choosing to fail that. Uh, I am going to step to there, mm -hmm. and I'm going to spend the next two actions casting heal on Karen. Thank you. 
How much you get out of that? 1d8 plus something? Uh, 1d8 plus 8. Does that go up at second level? Um, let me double check. Oh, no, I think it goes up when you can use a second level spell slot. Uh, yeah, it goes up if it's heightened. I get an extra d8. So, go ahead and roll your shit, and I'll apply it to Karen's health. Oh! So, 16. Oh, that was so good. Thank you. So, Karen, Karen, you feel that flow back into you a little bit. All right, Felix. Big fucking war. This, this is what you remember the tales being told about. Fuck yeah, this is what Felix knows. So Felix is going to try to engage it. Hey! It's time to do talking. Okay. It's time to talk to it. Do I need to roll? What, what, are, you, what are you saying? I'm, I'm saying, hey, let's talk. Let's figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh, so here's the deal. Unless you have the, like, glad hander, which you might... Uh, it's ten minutes to try to influence someone's to try to influence someone. I mean, it it clearly speaks our language, so. Yes. Have to have a pickpocket. But to convince to something that's hostile, pocket. it takes like ten minutes of talking. So, if you want to start putting in your a um, hundred rounds. <laughs> then that's other, that's otherwise, you said it will not happen. <laughs> No, I'm saying if you want to spend a hundred rounds, you can totally do that. <laughs> I can totally good. survive a hundred rounds. I guess. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Hear me out. It is one minute. So if you can get through ten rounds of talking to it, then you get a check. <laughs> I believe the phrasing is "you are certainly allowed to try." Yeah, yeah. Nope. However, it's worth noting there is a feat that lets you make an impression as an action. Uh, if you have intimidate, you can attempt to demoralize. As an action, I'm trained in intimidate. I also am trained in intimidate. So if you want to do that, you can. What this does, if you successfully intimidate someone, um, it can it can frighten them. Okay, so I'm gonna go for I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that. Okay, go for so that. go ahead, just roll roll just roll an intimidate check. It's against this creature's will DC, which I have. Bad. I'm saying, hey, hey, we've got we've got. Wait, what? Oh, I, I tried the wrong thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. Hey, you know, th- we've got. There's more than you see. Hang on, we gotta. There's more. Th- there's more of us than there are of you. We're gonna win this. So it's actually we're gonna su- win this. We're gonna so win it this is successful. Fight. Let's back oh, wow. off. Let's back off and talk. Oh shit! I did not mean <laughs> to put flat footed on. I didn't put it on anyone. So you let's actually back do. Off. Let's talk. So you frighten it, which isn't enough to make it stop, but it, it is concerned now. Hmm. <laughs> still have two actions, right? Yep. So I still have two actions, but I don't want to kill it and its pups, so what can I do? Save its pups, kill it. Whatever you like. If, if you want, honest, honestly, God, if you want to spend one of your actions beginning to make an impression, I'll also let you count that towards it. And if combat somehow lasts ten rounds, you, you to, will have that. Well, I feel like lasting ten rounds is kind of not the thing, considering that I'm making an impression immediately. Can I make a startling impression? In this case, no. You like you can begin making that impression, and if you, if you, work, if you do, if you do, if you do subdual it. What's that? I'm gonna work towards that. I'm gonna work cool. towards subdual damage with that. Okay, so you, you've got two. Actually, you spent one action to intimidate it, one action to start making an impression, and you've got one action left if you want to move or do something. Or did you already move? No, you haven't. Moved. I have not moved. So if you want to like I'll, get closer and, I'll move uh, over to Karen because that's where Felix lives. Would you stand <laughs> between Alec and it? Maybe because like this is a Hell Knight. Would you kind of try to slow yeah, Alec you're down? Right. Just to kind of create the impression that I'm stopping him from doing his job. Okay, and I, I think Alec is going to hold to Karen's turn. Okay. After Karen's turn and kind of get a feel in her lead. So Karen, it's your turn now. This Karen. dog has literally got its jaws in you. Karen is literally not listening to anything Felix just said because she just got the shit torn out of her, her neck 
by this thing. So she's going to attempt to uh, slice it with her silver uh, long sword. Okay. Just right up in the gut. Yes, so I hit. Not great, but not terrible. Alright, with my second action, I'm going to attempt to break the grapple. Is that an athletics check? Okay. Is that an athletics check? Yeah, you, you, you don't break the grapple, but you can take control of it. Oh, okay. Then I will attempt to take control of the grapple. Okay. But it's an athletics check, yes. Okay. And it does take your your attack penalty uh, does for it? your well, success of attack. I'm, mail- I'm yes. trying to break out. No, no, it's fine. I'll try to take control of the grapple. Uh, so I take a minus five. I mean, you could do it as an acrobatics, I think, to escape it. Oh, that would actually be but, worse. <laughs> that would be worse than taking the minus five. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I will attempt to uh, the athletics check at a minus five, which is still a plus three. Ooh, that's still pretty damn good. <laughs> not good enough. Uh, you do not break out of the grapple. Okay, and then with my third action, I'm going to attempt to intimidate with a, a guttural roar. Nat 20 okay. plus oh, nice. four. All right, um, so it, it's still Frightened 1. It doesn't stack. Oh, it doesn't stack? Oh, I didn't know that. Nope. Shit. Okay, well, I do it well, anyway. No, no, it, it does, but to raise it to a higher level, you would have had to get a higher level success, I think, oh. from what I, my understandings of it. I see. Okay. Cool. Then, yeah, I, I guess so, I'll do that. So I know that now. Okay. So it's, it's Frightened. All right, it's Alex's turn. He kind of looks at you. What? Kind of looks at you, Karen, a little bit. Tam. Do. Oh, no, this is, he's a Hell Knight, and he got to step. So he's gonna step past Felix and just, I must slay the evil beast. Felix is going to put out his arm and block. What do I have to roll? Uh, in this case, I'll let you, as a reaction, uh, make a. It'll be a. It'll be a secret but diplomacy check. You make that reaction. Right, Felix in this is case. going to try to throw out his right arm and try to catch him. And it's not enough. Like Alec just. Well, try. Show no mercy to those I who are evil. Bad. So he steps forward. It's not a real night thing to say. <laughs> yes. Critical hit. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Slings at it once. Good job, Alec. Ah. <laughs> and again. Excellent. Hit. Excellent. Alec's my dog. Oh, that was brutal. Damn. And now, Charlie, you're watching. It's your turn. Yeah. Uh, he's holding my mommy. I'm yeah. angry. 5, 10, 15. Um, I think I'm just going to fire at him with uh, the old crossbow her. All right, let me throw. It's got soft cover on him. Yeah. it's In this one, it's only minus one, though, I think. Mm. Got it? Yeah, it's on. Do. Mm. It's a miss, but I'm going to fire again. You no, know, it's an action reload. Oh, that's right. Yep. You're not aiming okay. anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, it is now this creature's turn. And it, it's because it's Karen. See, it's Karen is still in its mouth. Yep. It's still kind of grabbing onto Karen, but I think it's going to probably go after Alec and just scream at it in common. Nothing is as evil as a bitch that won't bear good and like he can't get the rest out because he's just going in man he hits Ow. Alec oh, oh my we're gonna go ahead and throw grabbed on Alec does that mean it lets go of me it does in fact let go of you for now mm. excellent so it's gonna throw that damage Boom! Throwing some on there. And it's just, it is, it is lashing out. Back at Karen for a oh miss. Oh, God. You know what? It'll go for one more time at Karen. Oh, and that's a hit. Wow, even at the third attack penalty? Oof, okay, that wasn't so bad. No. <clears throat> um, but I do get to throw grabbed on you again. Oh, that's true. Okay. 
And funny because I, I said, like it sort of started that phrase. It's it's gonna finish it as it's sort of like nothing is is evil. It's a bitch that won't bear proper male ilk. Okay. Let me throw it grabbed on Karen. And then take it off the Oh yeah, you already did. I already did. All right. Tam, it's your turn now. Okay. Um sorry, sir. 14. Hmm. Uh, you know what? We'll try something new. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what I have to... Oh, it gets a basic fortitude save. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Harm on it. Ooh. Okay. That's your new feat, right? Yes. So I can do both heal and harm spells. Uh, uh, yeah, fortitude save. Um, Ooh. What is it? 10 plus caster level? Uh, it should be listed in your character sheet. It's like 10 uh, plus caster level you, plus proficiency bonus, I think. I have absolutely zero idea where it says any of that. Range. I got you. Spell DC is 10 plus your key ability score modifier and your proficiency modifier. So for you, it's probably your wisdom mod plus your proficiency mod, which should be 4. So, so four, 18. So yeah, 18 should be your DC. Yep. So I critically succeed. Oof. I got a 30. Okay. Yikes. So does that take none, I'm guessing? Is it as a standard save? Uh... Yeah, it gets basic fortitude save. So yeah, basic critical success is no damage. Success is half damage. Mm. Yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, so nope. it seems to shrug it off. Is that a, That's a two-action cast, right? That was a two-action cast, yep. So you got third action left. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to stay right where I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Felix, it's your turn. I mean, Felix is still trying to talk this whole situation down. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another diplomacy okay. check uh-huh. on secret diplomacy. Alec. Or diplomacy. Secret diplomacy. Okay, go for it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking at let, like let's 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 do this. So you talk you you kind of what, what what do you say to Alec to kind of get him to stand down? I mean it's it's really obvious what I say to him because it's just it's a mother and her children. You're still you're a child. This is of, clearly not a mother. Of people too. Let's go on. Let's. Go. Have you Let's not caught what it's been saying? Talking. It's not a mother. This is definitely a father that murdered the Man, mother because she shit. only gave birth to females. Man, I don't give a shit. Felix is going for it. So Felix is very convincing, and Alec back just... Off. Back off. If you can reason with it, if you can show it to the, tame, the tameness of civilization, I shall give it a chance to repent. you got two great. actions left. You spend repent. one on talking to the, to the wolf. Okay, I spend one on talking to the wolf. Roll it. Uh, no need for a roll yet. And then you okay. got one action left. Do you want to? Who, who do you want to the last roll, action? I'm rolling it to Karen. So roll it over, Karen. This beats your will DC. Now you're a player, so you can still choose what you want. But there's a very strong de- uh, diplomacy made by Felix. I was let's, also let's back off. Let's, shields up, shields up. Let's talk to it. Let's talk to it. It's cool. I, she's also been stabbed or bitten quite badly. Uh, Karen's not really in yeah. the mood for like, making yeah. deals. She's stabbing again. Okay. With the sword. So that's going to be... Ooh, that's going to hurt. There we go. <clears throat> Stick by sword. You started with damage. What's that? You got to hit first. I thought I did. Attack, low-grade sword. Attack, 17. Oh, oh yeah. All right. It's just now your turn. Didn't Felix say he was deferring turn? No, he, he took his actions to make those checks. Oh, yeah, so that you was my... just in the, in the inventory. But yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry, so you do hit. Oh, I was that's... just waiting to click the turn order down to you and the tracker. Mm, okay, yeah. So that was... Did that kill it? Well, yeah. Fuck me. Okay. You slash out at it and it falls dead. Uh, little stuff. She, she, I she, did a lot of talking for nothing. As Karen pulls the sword out, she kind of starts panting and says, Sorry, love, what were you saying? 
Uh, I really couldn't hear over the... Uh, the, the teeth. Uh. Felix is just staring slack-jawed bluntly. Okay. Really? You see, you fucking serious? It hit me. You also do notice that when its body falls to the ground, it definitely had a penis. <laughs> if it's me or something with teeth like this, I'm gonna pick me every time. Start to clean the blood off my sword. Alec does the same thing and sort of step. Alec does the same thing and sort of starts walking down towards the pups. If these will become the same as their father. Okay, I see Tam steps in. Does Tam say anything? Nate, you might be muted. We can't How about now? Nate. Oh, hey, there there you you. Okay, cool. Um, Tam steps over uh, in front of him and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Evil is a learned trait. These are just pups. We might be able to help them. It was able to speak. That does seem reasonable. Alec responds just, evil is evil. Nothing changes that. And not just are these evil, but they are the chaos of the wilds. Right, but so were wolves. And we've made pets out of them. Horses were wild, and they've uh, accepted, you know, civilization and order. Why can't these, these young, impressionable creatures be able to do the same thing? Also of which, they were clearly frightened of their father. He kind of grunts a little bit. That argument seems to have landed with him a little more. Discipline the pups. Keep them in line. That they do not become what their father was. A menace to society. Of course. Felix, how, how are you taking all this? Like, clearly you and Karen just had a disagreement. Punch Karen in the fucking face. <laughs> Try it. <clears throat> okay. So with, with that kind of teasing on it and not doing it. Okay. So with with that tension in the air, a couple of things happen. You guys get some XP for that fight. You guys get some XP for well, the party does. Um, Alec definitely doesn't, but the the party does get XP for rescuing the puppies. However, you guys do have something in front of you. You have to keep in mind that these are naturally evil creatures, and left to their own devices or intended, they will become evil. Sure. Yeah. I will say this is like, and hear me out. The Bramble Bratchers are in need of a home, and a home is in need of a good security system. I can't think of a better watchdog if properly trained. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, then we kill them. I will say that one does start to kind of like amble out of from under the desk a little bit over towards the, the, the body of what you believe to be its father. Felix, it kind of comes right between your legs as it gets a little nearer and just sort of looks... Mm, and, well, understand. The dogs. What's that? It's the dogs. How does, how does Felix react to having this one kind of standing beneath its legs? Not at all. Okay. He touches it gently. The puppy kind of looks up at you. Licks your fingers a little. Yeah, great. Lovely boy. So, there's a room just to the north of you guys. Mm-hmm. I'll say, um, Tam would also like an opportunity to check out this room as well. That was a, that's where you found the scrolls. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Uh, Do appreciate the thoroughness, though. I'll say then, I would like to, you know, it's like, uh, Karen, um, Alec, I think we need to rest for a bit. Yeah, I could use a little pitching up, if you don't mind, Tam. Yeah. 
I did give you, if you look at the party, there's an elixir of life that you can take. Oh, what is that? Healing okay. potion? Yes, yeah, small healing potion. Oh, wow, cool. Wait, you can make those? I can. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. hell yeah. Yeah, I'll take one shit. <laughs> you have to take it within the day, though, else it doesn't work. I'll literally take it right now. <laughs> what was it called? Elixir of life? Yeah, I'll take yep. that right now. How do I? What do I roll? What do I do? I think it's like one d six hit points plus one. There we go. It's one d six hit points plus one, so five. Sweet. Hmm. So it's it's getting a little late on this end. So I think I want to kind of wrap this up on more of a visual scene than a cliffhanger. I think sure. the moment in my mind that this wraps up on is is Charlie. You're helping. You're helping out Karen. Alec is sort of standing off to the side, being a little kind of stuck up nosy. I think kind of the, the final moment I see is the other pup runs over and Tam, maybe you kind of sit down a little sort of catty corner from Felix. The two of you have kind of had an, you know, back and forth interactions. But at this point, I think Tam, you're kind of looking out over these two little pups, unsure what might become of them. And I think that's the point that Felix, if you, if you were kind of with me that you're almost sitting down, I almost imagine them kind of being, you kind of yeah. having taken both of them into your lap. He absolutely has. So Charlie is, is kind of tending, helping out Karen. Alec is sort of just brooding off to the side. And Tam, you're the kind of, in my mind, I, I honestly do see a lot of these camera shots from over Tam's shoulder. Tam, you're kind of looking at this, seeing this all played out. Felix still kind of seething at a couple of your compatriots. Felix who's oh, Felix wants to brute and a violent him. man. Like, I think Felix's comment is interesting to kind of play on this. I really want that to be the ending scene a little bit in my mind, that Felix himself is very potentially himself an evil man. and, and Or could, could, have, very, could have been an evil man. An evil man in the, like, the non-classic D&D interpretation that evil just means self-serving. Yeah. But I think you can kind of see in the same potential that like, Felix may have some of that selfishness to him. Absolutely. But look at what he's done for all of you. And as he's holding these puppies, that maybe there's a chance for them in that same way. Hmm. So I think that's the scene I kind of want to fade out on. Is, is Charlie and, and Karen no having one, this moment? No one lunges for the puppies. Felix will got them. What's that? If anyone lunges for the puppies, Felix will got them. All right. So I think that's what we're going to wrap up on. I'm going to type a couple. Actually, I, I think I'm going to I'm going to try to speed type the notes and actually. Because then I got to run it and move some stuff, and it's getting late. Uh, but I really appreciate everyone playing today, and making the time. Yeah, thanks. Do we? Since we're planning on it, just so we can get more into mm -hmm. it um, for next time, do you just want to roll these medicine checks real I quick? I prefer to keep going. I I need to go move stuff. Uh, I'm but okay. I've been, I'm waking up a little earlier than normal these days, so I gotta gotcha. I gotta stay in the move. Yeah, no worries. But I'll okay. make a note. Uh... Yeah, type it out. It's all good. Perfect. We can just come back in two weeks and do exactly yeah. what is written down. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you all so much. Yeah, yeah. spectacular right. session. Thank you all. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, I had a wonderful time. Yeah, it was a good one. I'm really appreciating some of the, the diverging narratives, and I, I appreciate when players can play conflict between characters well and still have fun. So thank you, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, agreed, because I have seen, I have absolutely seen conflict between characters ruin role play. Oh, definitely. So, I appreciate that uh, y'all are willing to tolerate Felix going against the grain. <laughs> well, I know, uh, absolutely do it. I know, uh, uh Trent and, uh, Eli, we, oh. we're, we're complete strangers to con interparty. Oh. Con <laughs> right? Fucking Trent. Party, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I feel like this is a deep joke. Uh, yeah, Trent just used to be like Trent's character used to be the most contrary to the group character. Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> Charlie is a breath. It of was also air. awesome though. Yo, yeah, Aiden was amazing. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I miss Aiden, but I also definitely don't miss Aiden in different ways. <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? But in some ways, yeah, like, man, I wish Aiden were here right now. Shit, he was so great. He would totally shoot someone in the tongue. Yeah. Oh, right, God, dude. that was so cool. <laughs> All right, dude, I am off. Good he literally night. shot an arrow and pinned someone's tongue to a window sill. It was awesome. Later, Nate. Or whoever's just left. I'm out. Peace. Later. Peace. Oh. <sighs>
good times, as they say. Yes. So, it looks like after all that XP, we should only need eight, uh, no, seven, 758 to level. And I, I didn't check. Is that updating? I updated that, yes. That's something I updated for both of you. I can check. You guys got 60 for the pups, 60 for the wargs. And I think and... 60 for the turtles, right? Oh, God. Uh... 80, 80 for the uh, grave shells. Okay. They were slightly higher, harder fight. Yeah, the XP always updates automatically, but the XP needed does not. So. No, yeah, so just, in my mind, you can leave it at a 1,000. In my mind, it's less of a how much you have left more than a good a benchmark of like, hey, what does it need to reach? Oh, a 1,000? That's fair. Yeah. Have any idea what you're doing at 3, Nate? Uh, you know, I haven't even looked at it yet. <laughs> really? I don't think three is all that exciting for clerics. Uh, oh. Three gets you level two spells. Oh. Uh, I mean, I I think that's it, though. Uh -huh. Which, Just I like mean, dude, don't discount that. There's yeah. a skill feat. Is there a skill feat? Yeah, yeah that's for skill everybody. feat for normal characters. Karen's going to get bravery, uh, which increases proficiency to for will saves to expert and when i roll success at a will save against a fear effect i get a critical success instead and anytime i get the frightened condition it automatically reduces its value by one so essentially that means karen will be immune to frightened one uh, okay uh yeah i get second level spells i get a general feat Oh, I don't get a oh, skill yeah. feat. I had a skill feat last level. Oh, sorry, skill increase, not a feat. Yeah, you should yep. get your get second skill level spells, general feat, and a skill increase. Yep, general feat, skill increase, as well as I got my second doctrine, which is uh, I become an expert in fortitude saves. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, damn. That'll be helpful. Jeez. Do you know what general feat you're going to take? I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> Well, there aren't that many. Because there's skill feats, and then there's general feats. I'm probably going to take either toughness or fast recovery. Because toughness would, it, would reduce the DC of recovery checks and increase my max HP, but fast recovery would be gain more HP from rest and recover faster from diseases and poisons, which would be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Updated the player log. I think one of the things I might start doing is, as we're setting up, just encourage all of you to open the journal log and read the recap from last time so that I don't have to do that. Yeah, sure. Right. Hmm. Might become trained in armor. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Like light That's armor. That's not a bad something. thing. Yeah, that would be a good idea, I think. Cool. All right. I'm... Let's see. It. Hey, thank you guys for making yeah. the time. I'm yeah. enjoying this time. party and this group so much. Definitely. I said, yeah, I, I got to put on socks. If you guys don't mind, I'll just talk to you for a minute while I sure. throw my shoes back on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I. I'm so enjoying it. I feel like second edition is everything I hoped it would be. And it definitely has a learning curve for me because it's similar enough in some areas where I need to learn the new system. Absolutely. But I do, and like as a GM, I love the way different monsters have different abilities. Like I didn't get to use it there, but there's some really cool, one of the things that came up, if, uh, if the warg has its grab on a creature that is size small, it can swallow whole. Oh God. 
Jeez. Glad so it, it would have only nerd. mattered if Charlie was up front or like there was a halfling or something, but the war could have begun swallowing one of you fuckers whole. Or if I'd been playing Nurk. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The hammer would have had to stay outside the warg, but <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I say that's one of those things that, like, from it's really interesting. And Nate, I think if you ever GM or even read through like adventures of the the, the bestiary, sometimes you'll see right. how much it's very clear the people who made Pathfinder two, and I think we've talked about this before, are huge fans of Kingdom Death. <laughs> okay, because a lot of the ability, because almost every creature has some kind of reaction now. And so, like, while it isn't nearly as Kingdom Death as Kingdom Death is, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of things in which when you attack or interact with the creature, it means the creature reacts outside of its turn and reacts to your interaction with it in a way that reminds me a lot of hit location cards. Okay. Like, it's not randomized in any sense, but there is a sort of, like, once you learn to fight a creature, like, there is that value in rolling the, in getting a good recall knowledge check and learning what its reaction is so you can know how to attack it or when it will bite back at you or... All right. And that reminded me a lot of Kingdom yeah, Death. Okay. And like as a GM, it reminds me a lot of those abilities. I just thought like, oh, I remember reading that some of the people who write Pathfinder are huge fucking Kingdom Death fans. And I was like, that's kind of what this reminds me of. That there's like there's a reason that they gave that they made recall knowledge in action. One, so that it's not broken, but two, because you can get some information that totally change how you tactically fight a creature. Okay, All that's right. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I really like that idea because Hello? What? Oh, hey. I think Nate, or I mean, I think James, uh, I think his call got disconnected. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think. Oh. Huh? What? Oh, oh, I wasn't, I didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were just. I was just like, this was a good, this was a good night. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I think uh, it'll be cool to see you two raising uh, warg pups. That will be interesting. Yeah. Like, it's not Tam's intention to get a pet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's why he said, it's, just, it's like, why not with the Bramble Brashers? I really like that idea. <laughs> it's just like, then we don't have to worry about NPCs in the party all the time. Yeah, seriously. And I, 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 I have, you know, <laughs> like, I've been with young dogs. <laughs> and while it... it <laughs> like I enjoy it. I'm not sure Tam does. <laughs> Especially warg pups. Imagine how fast they grow. He's, he's yeah. It, he's not great with the living to begin with. <laughs> True. Priest of Feras or cleric of Ferasma. You know what's interesting? Uh, mm. In James's and my other game, uh, half the party dedicated into a different um, into a different class at level Hello. two. Yeah. But no one did in this party. I find that interesting. I think I lost you, Eli. What? I think I lost you. Oh, I'm still here. Can you hear me? No? Yes? Yes? No? Yes? Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that uh, in our, our other Pathfinder group, half of the party dedicated into different classes at level two. Really? Yeah. Uh, our monk huh. dedicated to is dedicating to rogue, and our cleric is dedicating champion. Huh. Cleric is Saren Ray. He's pretty cool. He's definitely like the war cleric, you know, so he wears armor and wields a scimitar. He's completely different from Tam in, like, every way. The only di the only thing right. they, they have in common is they he, they both do, med like, medicine checks. <laughs> That's, like, it. <laughs> yeah, that was the one thing I was looking at. It was just, like... Oh, I do the bit, um, and then I saw that uh, looking at the there's the two different doctrines that you can do for cleric. Because mm -hmm. originally, like, oh, I do cleric, it's to wear the armor, and then it was like, oh wait, you can do a ca like pure caster cleric now. Yeah, like a thaumaturge almost. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, no, Tam's great. <laughs> I especially love that he's all about phrasma and like death, and <laughs> he's like a goth, but but not a goth, you know. He, yeah, I mean, he's not really a goth. It's just, just like weird death is a natural part of life. He's just weird around the yeah. living. Yeah. <laughs> it just he worked in a graveyard since he was like five years old. So mm -hmm. what do you expect? Oh, nice. He's oh, a nice. little. You have like a background. I know <laughs> like, he was from Corvosa, but I don't really know much else yeah. about him. 
No, he's he uh, he worked in the gardens. Mm. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. You know, essentially, he was a grave digger and an acolyte and all that. But yeah, he was raised within. Like I imagine, I haven't really thought it out like mm-hmm. really hard, but I imagine like he was uh, because he kind of grew up towards the tail end of the the Crimson Throne. Mm-hmm everything so it's like i'm kind of figuring it was just like he was like an orphan of the blood plague oh shit that's cool and then um and then like the the church of phrasma mm-hmm. you know took him in and and then he trained as a cleric with them wow that's really so, badass <laughs> and also it's just like he works in in the grave in the the you know the big graveyard and it was like hey that's the greenhouse. Yeah, it is <laughs> right there. Uh huh. <laughs> with all the with all the weird undead goats outside, which uh-huh. is kind of a middle finger to Phrasma, uh-huh. but it's it's one of the gardeners, so it's okay. We'll allow it. Right. It's okay if it's Joe Field. That's the one exception. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she did sort of cure the blood plague. She absolutely did. <laughs> It's like we're not, we're not totally fans of the whole necromancy thing, but I mean, just kind of as far as what we can tell from the outside, it's just like goats and sheep and stuff like that. Which, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Me knowing what's on the inside. Yes, <laughs> with the zombie butler and <laughs> <laughs> the zombie butler, and then the what was it? The skeletal mammoth during the murder ball. Yeah. <laughs> That build was, that was temporary, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened to Cabbage Head? We killed Cabbage Head, right? I believe we killed Cabbage Head, yes. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> God, that was an insane campaign. I wish we could finish it. Because I know it goes up to yeah. like 20. I know James was saying about sometime trying to figure out when, yep. like a time when we can, like, just do like three or four, like level everyone up to like eighteen and finish it out. Yeah, we were we've been talking about that a little bit on our ways to our other games because we you know drive down to Denver so we have a lot of time to talk about it. And we were yep. thinking of running like mon- like a few montage sessions where like we would level up to about twelve and then we would hit a couple of the major plot points in one of the books and then the next time we would level up to like fifteen and then we would hit a couple more major plot points and then we'd level up to like nineteen. You know, just sort of like quick. Uh, montages really um, right. and just finish up the whole adventure i think that would be great yeah i would love to get closure on that campaign it's the campaign i've wanted closure the most but i found a very interesting accidental uh lore hookup between the other pl- P- pathfinder game i played and the curse of the crimson throne because i don't know how much you know about the plot of curse of the crimson throne beyond what we played do you know anything about it uh, no. none of it well I assume you re- you fu- you realized that the queen is evil. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously the queen is evil. Obviously, she's the one who made the blood plague. But she's evil because she's essentially like Arthas and the fra- uh, the um, Lich King, where she's getting whispered to by this undead dragon that's underneath the the ziggurat of Corvosa. Uh, that's why <laughs> Shalanti built the 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 ziggurat is because there's this undead dragon underneath it, uh, that you eventually do have to right. fight in Curse of the Crimson Throne. But she has this artifact oh. called, like, the Crown of Fangs, I think? Uh, let me look it up real quick. Crown of Fangs, yes. Um, and the Crown of Fangs <clears throat> is, uh, made out of the fangs of that dragon, uh, and it's one of, like, the seven, um, oh, that's not the thing I was looking for. Crown of Fangs. That's still not right. Anyway, uh, Pathfinder, Queen Ilioza. That'll be faster. Anyway, uh, so my my uh, barbarian in the other campaign is a frost gnome who was originally owned by the uh, the leader of the frost giants up to the north, and um, who actually the, this tribe of frost giants. Or at least their leader is canon in Pathfinder, uh, Jarl Yodig or Jarl Rhymeblood is his name, and he has <clears throat> an artifact uh, called um, the Armor of Skulls, which is made from that same blue dragon Kazavon as the Queen's legendary crown. So 
my my character's uh, previous owner has a legendary artifact made from the same dragon as the queen in Corvosa. And that was completely by accident. <laughs> yeah. So that's some delicious lore mixing right there. Nice. Yeah. Totally by accident. I, I made up my backstory like two months ago, and I found that out about uh, the crown of fangs and the queen and all that maybe three days ago. <laughs> yeah. Accidentally lined up my backstory. Well, I mean, it's nice when it falls in place. Definitely. Definitely. Anyway, I think I'm going to go. I've got to teach tomorrow. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Later. Later. Bye.